Hello folks, Martin Gonzalez here. I'm going to be your hypnotist this evening. Before we get started, I want to address a few concerns. I was talking to a few of you out in the lobby, and so let me first uh, tell you that nobody here is going to be barking or howling like a dog. Nobody's going to be clucking like a chicken tonight, and nobody's going to be taking their clothes off tonight. Not here, not tonight. I know, I know you're so disappointed and all that, but we're going to be sticking to the losing weight part of this seminar, and we'll be doing just fine. All right. Fantastic. Before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about myself and my experience with hypnosis. I'm originally from uh, Florida. I came here to Texas back in 1986. I joined the Air Force and I was stationed in Wichita Falls for eight years. I ended up living in Wichita Falls for 22 years. I have a grandson and a, uh, and a daughter that were born in Wichita Falls. And then at 22 years, I ended up moving here to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Now here in Dallas for Worth, I noticed one time, I noticed an ad on the paper that was for hypnosis for smoking cessation. And uh, I used to be a smoker. I, I was really never a heavy smoker, but a smoker nonetheless. Um, I called the ad and uh, I made an appointment and went to see this gentleman and uh, had a hypnosis session. And I have never smoked ever since. I became a non-smoker non after that session. And so this gentleman and I, we became really good friends. And from time to time, I would send him some referrals and they would do really well and he was doing very well and so uh, here about 10 years ago I decided that I wanted to be a hypnotist and so I went to hypnosis school and then I um, started a clinical hypnosis practice in Plano where I helped uh, many people in the weight loss, smoking cessation and some other, some other issues and so that has brought me to where I am here today and so let me give you a, a very simple definition of hypnosis, probably the simplest definition of hypnosis. And by the way, hypnosis, a funny thing, is probably the most misunderstood of all the healing disciplines. And I tell you, I go out and I speak on hypnosis anytime I have the opportunity, and I, and I tell you that hypnosis is a great tool. I can guarantee you that if you embrace hypnosis and you practice hypnosis, it will change your life. So hypnosis, let me give you a definition of hypnosis. Probably the simplest definition of hypnosis is hypnosis is focused concentration with the enhanced ability to respond to suggestion. Hypnosis is focused concentration with the enhanced ability to respond to suggestion. Okay? Now let me give you some facts about hypnosis. The American Medical Association approved hypnosis as a viable tool, as a viable therapeutic tool to work on people in 1959. That's almost 60 years ago. It's interesting to me that some people still today believe of hypnosis of being dark, mysterious. There's a mystery, a dark, mysterious thing about hypnosis. It comes from the devil, maybe, you know, some people believe. Let me tell you, the Vatican... The Vatican approved hypnosis as a viable tool to work on people in 1958. That's almost, almost 60 years ago. There are over 100 countries that use hypnosis in a clinical setting to help people with losing weight, smoking cessation, and a variety of issues. Okay, so let me give you some examples of hypnosis that maybe you have experienced. Let me ask you this. How many of you have maybe driven your car, you get somewhere, you get to your destination, and you can't remember the trip. You can't remember certain landmarks that you went by because you were lost in thought. Right, that's happened to all of us, pretty much. There's actually a term for that. It's called highway hypnosis. Here's another one. How many of you have watched a movie? You're watching a movie and you start tearing up, even though you know it's fake. There are actors, there, there's a crew, there's lighting setting right there. You know it's all, it's not true, it's not really happening. But yet you allow the drama of the story to become real in your mind. And that's a hypnotic phenomenon. 